It smells kind of like salad dressing. It tastes better with I the said chicken. that, but I'm not like super familiar with salad dressing, so I don't know if that's Anything really accurate. Hello everyone. It's been, I don't even know how long since I filmed a vlog. I have a special guest for today's. Who? My Uber driver. I could see you being an Uber driver. I don't have the patience. See, I, that's, I feel like you would have the patience for those kind of strange conversations. That's true, I could go along with any weird conversation. But then I just end up making other people more uncomfortable. Anyway, this is Sound Guy, if you're not familiar. Um, there's not much. That's about it. That's there's not many words that can explain him. Just sound and guy. Yep. Although everyone was very pleased to find out that your name is Mike and you're a sound guy, which Everybody I don't think that. I connected those dots in the that eight years we've known each other. Every set. Well, I heard it yesterday. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing today? You tell me. I thought you were going to take some of the. We're going to a. Uh, a restaurant. Eh? We're going on a food adventure and my normal food partner wouldn't come. So that's why he's here. I got roped I'm in. I'm kidding. I was going to have Lisa come as well and we're going to have all three of us and I was even going to have Sound Guy just like appear in the back suddenly, but um, Lisa has COVID, so. You were going to have me appear in the back of my own car? Well, no, I was going to drive. My car? No. Whose car? Mine. Why didn't you drive your car this time then? Because you were already in it. Anyway, so for today's food adventure, um, we're not actually going that far. It's only like 10 minutes away. And I discovered this place because at like three in the morning one day, night, morning, um, I had a craving for McDonald's apple pie. As you do. They're really good there. I was awake and I had nothing to do. So I was like, might as well drive to Burbank to the only 24 hour McDonald's nearby. It's like 15 minutes away. Yeah, because well, why pay the delivery fees for Uber Eats? They're so expensive now. No, so while I was in the drive-thru getting my apple pie that night, I look over and there were cones in the middle of the road and there was all the stuff as if there was some kind of event going on. And then I realized that they had opened a Raising Cane's, which I was like, is that the chicken place? And then I Googled it and it is the chicken place. The menu doesn't feel very expansive. <laughs> in and out's menu is not expansive. I was going to compare it to in and out It yeah. seems very on par with uh, them, but chicken. The thing is, I tweeted about the fact that we were going. Yeah. I didn't reveal you were coming. It's gonna be a surprise. People were like responding their advice and stuff, like their suggestions for like how to best enjoy our first time. The thing is that a lot of the people that were leaving these suggestions were saying that I should um, get extra sauce and I'm just not a big sauce person. I like sauce. I don't know what the sauce is, but apparently like we should get sauce. a lot of it's it. It's like their, their special brand. Are they on the freeway? I guess so. I guess we can. We're going to the one in Nevada, right? <laughs> Wait, so Wait five minutes ago I was going to read a tweet. So I tweeted that uh, I think I'm going to try Raising Cane's tomorrow for the first time. I'm reading this out of order. I didn't read again. <laughs> That's why I was never good at hosting because even when I would write the stories, when I would read them back, I'd rearrange the words. And I'm like, you wrote it. You <laughs> wanted them this way. Anyway, <laughs> so I think I'm going to try Raising Cane's for the first time tomorrow. One just opened in Burbank and I've heard good things. And Quinn says get the box combo and ask for an extra toast and an extra sauce. We're going to want the extra toast. Trust her. Okay. I didn't even know they had toast. Seems very serious. Holly has a pro tip. Everything goes in the sauce. Everything. I'm I'm a little nervous because I'm not a sauce person except for ketchup. See, I've I've gone away from ketchup recently. I don't use it as much. Mm -hmm. Why? Now that I found out they have Chick-fil-A sauce at Vons, I just use that for all my uh they do. chicken they tenders. Do. What is Chick-fil-A sauce? What's like the the combo? I don't know. The thing with sauce is that they're usually spicy, I think. And I don't like spicy. So Chick-fil-A yeah. sauce isn't spicy. Okay. And my I taste buds are... I don't know. I just am not a sauce. I don't even like ranch. I have the taste buds of an eight-year-old. I cannot handle <laughs> most. That's literally why I invited you today. Like, I was like, who would want chicken fingers? Like the nacho cheese sauce at movie theaters or like baseball games, you know, the really cheap nacho yeah, cheese sauce. Yeah, I don't sauce. like that. Even that is, feels a little bit spicy to me. Oh, that's, that's, that's why I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> See the cones? This is a very uh, serious yeah. operation. Please wait here. Oh, oh these, I think, are those people like working security? Are they COVID I testers? So. There's the McDonald's that I was at at three, four in the morning. I can't even tell how long the line is, to be honest. I don't oh, know. Like, what? Oh, okay, I'm like, we're gonna have to go off here because I can't see it. Yeah, I don't have a sunroof. I just pop out the top of your van. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Vegas. Um, <laughs> wait, let's go back to the pro tip. Um, Holly, oh, yeah. her pro tip was everything goes in the sauce. The fries, the toast, the chicken, all sauced. Go ahead and order an extra one. Okay. An extra sauce. 
You don't have In-N-Out sauce with their fries? The special sauce? No, I don't use that. I, I don't get their fries. Holly finishes up her pro tip by saying um, a sweet tea if you want the full experience. I have such bad cotton mouth right now that I would even drink a sweet tea, but I fucking hate. Why do you have cotton mouth? Okay, well, it looks like we're kind of, I think we're, does it just turn right in? I think so, yeah. Oh, this isn't that bad at all. I was worried it was gonna, I guess it's been open for a few, a couple weeks now. I thought it was gonna be one of those situations where it's like uh, an in and out opens in a new state and people are lined up for like three miles. Yeah. This was only like, like that Dallas a half video. Of a, this is like a normal in and out drive through. Yeah, peak hours. Yeah. We're about to order. This really didn't take that long. They said get the box combo. But then everyone says get extra toast instead of coleslaw because coleslaw shouldn't exist. That's fair. I and don't I like do agree coleslaw. with that. Could we get two box combos with extra toast instead of coleslaw? I was gonna film the menu too, but we already passed it. It's weird because they have like a lot of outdoor seating and we're just driving like around the outdoor seating. Yeah. But it looks nice. There's a disco ball inside. It's like a party in there. They're very attentive. It feels like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Sound guy. Yeah. Dr. Pepper. Thank you very much. Bye, Ice Tea. Okay. The camera's balancing very delicately right now, but I think we're good. Okay. I could drink eight of these. <laughs> That's a specific number. You know it is, and I actually said it the other day and thought to myself, why the hell did you choose eight? Yeah. <laughs> Little baby coke? Yeah, it was all that was left. And now the baby coke is going to be dumped out here. Don't slam the door too much. The camera will fall. <laughs> Nailed it! Your box, sir. Nothing. I'm going to throw this up tonight. Ew. <laughs> I have like two hours of jujitsu and Krav Maga. I love that I didn't even question why you were going to be Yeah, you just assumed just I've like, got bulimia. <laughs> okay. What does it smell like? Kind of like, like ranch and ketchup. I don't like, yeah, like it doesn't a, like smell great. Tangy. Oh fuck, why didn't we ask for ketchup? It, it's yeah, that would have been a good idea. I feel like we should cook it. Somewhere. I feel like it's free inside. Like maybe they have a I know, I just don't want to go. <laughs> I'll go grab some. Let's Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Two for you. <laughs> there was a cute little ketchup dispenser and it says the not so secret sauce. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not secret. Get it. Everybody knows everyone knows ketchup. ketchup. Okay. Toast first. Moment of truth. It just smells like regular toast. It does look like good bread. Do you make why do you make it a sandwich? I guess you could. Try it all separately first. There's nothing special about this toast, and I don't care if you hate me for saying it. Come at me. I've got nothing to lose. When I need to cleanse my cotton mouth first. With Dr. Pepper. Moisten the palate. Way more than cleansing the palate. That was I didn't chugging. have one when I woke up this morning. Oh no. <laughs> okay. All right, I tried the sauce on a fry and I didn't like it. I feel like I owe it to the chicken. So maybe they complement each other. My brother's friend is a chef. Okay. So I, I learn words. Just tastes like the toast I make at home. I love a good plain <laughs> fluffy bread, so. Really not hard to impress her, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. Um, plain fluffy bread. My stripper name. Speaking of, we're outside a place called Tallyrand, and on the sign it says cocktails. Oh. And there's a security guy outside, and I'm curious what's in, in what there. What worries me is that there are windows on it, because if it's a bar and it has windows, it's usually a red flag. Bars usually don't have windows. That's true. Yeah. I guess I never noticed that. Anyway, should I try the chicken, the whole point of this video? No. If I try it plain first, yeah. It tasted. I feel the sauce tasted better with the chicken. It takes some getting used to. So plain, I'd say I give the texture like a 10 out of 10, but it is very plain. And that's 
coming from me, like I love everything plain. I, I wouldn't get it and eat it dry. So let's try it with ketchup. I feel like you should- It doesn't taste like fast food chicken. Yeah, you should never eat chicken tenders dry, I feel. Yeah, There's you know what it reminds me of? Colorado 1976. Mm, no, you're in Cabo, you're by the pool. You look in the menu and it's like, do I get nachos again or do I get chicken fingers? These are pool chicken fingers. At like a high-end resort. Yeah. They're, and they're off the kids menu, well, but okay. you're ordering anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been there. That is where these came from. That's fair, but from a fast food setting. No, no, I'm severely underwhelmed. <laughs> like there's no seasoning at all. Yeah. It was the plainest chicken I've ever had. How much did it cost again? Like $10 a box. Really? Yeah, that's not worth it. I could get just as good of chicken fingers at Carl's Jr. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably never, <laughs> ever gonna come back here. Yeah. I would put Chick-fil-A way above this. I'd put them on the same plane. If, <laughs> because I view it the same as Chick-fil-A. If there's not a long line, I'll do it. But if it's like the line we were just in, I'm just there's going to the McDonald's across the street. Yeah, I was like, but the there's a McDonald's across the street, I'm going there. Or Carl's Jr. I'm getting because my dollar beverage. The beverage was only a dollar? <laughs> A McDonald's for a lot oh, of Oh yeah, I'm they put a lot of ice. ice. They do put a lot of ice. Skimping on the soda, not cool. Why does McDonald's, I think someone has told me this before and I forget, it was something to do with like the machines. McDonald's fountain beverages are top tier. About, like I would put them above all I think other. most of the time, soda just tastes better out of the fountain. And I think it's because the syrup and the, the carbonated ratio. water, they're not already joined. They join together in It was something machine. about McDonald's like does it cold in other places that's, to mix Yeah, it. that's another thing. They're also fountains you And I think that McDonald's it. has the, like the cold, maybe that's it. They have the coldest and most like maybe. carbonated. I've just always noticed fountain drinks are always better than just like store bought. But like the, like the Dr. Pepper I just had is not gonna be as good as the Dr. Pepper I'm about to get. Oh. Um, yeah, this is, it's all right. I feel like I'm sad about it's it. It's not worth thirty dollars. No. No. Wow, that's like you could. I was gonna say you could like go to a sit-down restaurant, but honestly, we're not gonna continue this conversation. But I was like, <laughs> why is everything so expensive these days? And then I'm like, I don't need to get into action. Fucking life. Joe Biden. Oh my god. <laughs> Gas prices are the highest they've ever been under Joe Biden. <laughs> Inflation is up is bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Disappointed. This is nice hanging out, but yeah, I was yeah. very disappointed food-wise. <laughs> would have rather spent the $30 on like- Oh man, we could have gotten so many- Cheaper food and more weed. We could have gotten- Oh yeah, I was singing this while you were gone. Yeah. I was like, is that my phone? My music library, if you just put it on shuffle, it's a very eclectic mix. I have a playlist called Rock the Fuck Out that is very eclectic of 90s one-hit wonders, 80s one-hit wonders. I don't usually go back to the 80s, but there I have a lot of random 90s. I have a lot of like, I've heard this song in a show once, downloaded it, and now yep. it's still on my phone 20 years later. Yeah. It smells kind of like salad dressing. It tastes better with I the said chicken. that, but I'm not like super familiar with salad dressing, so I don't know if that's Anything really other than Caesar or ranch is a no-go for I me. just feel like because this was so anticlimactic, I have to at least yeah. give it a, a sympathy try. I think I speak for both me and Lily when we say, fuck you, iced tea. You know what you did. We should start a Twitter beef with iced tea. Why? Because drama gets views. No, I like, told you this last time we did a video together. Drama gets views. This is going to be a very shocking turn of events. I understand why people like it with the sauce. Because yeah, then you can't, that's like the seasoning that's missing. Yeah, but I bet it would I be. don't love the sauce, but at least it gives it flavor. I would like to try it with Chick-fil-A sauce, but I feel like I'd get arrested. That's like a conflict of interest. I assume so. It sounds sacrilegious if you ask me. Anyway, I think that's gonna bring this really um, lackluster mukbang to a close while I eat this dry white bread. What am I doing with my life? I don't know, can we go on McDonald's? Yeah, sure.